Hey YouTube, Mike the Alpha Hoarder here. Thanks for joining me today. I expect this might actually be a short video. We'll see. I'm not very good at that, but uh, I don't have a particular topic. I really just want to look at a cool card and um, look at some artwork. Uh, as you know, if you've been following my channel, artwork is really what inspires me the most in this hobby, I would say. I do play the game, but uh, I don't play much and I'm not very good at it. What really what really drew me back into the hobby when I came back uh, was the nostalgia and the artwork. And uh, you know you just can't beat you just can't beat the alpha art. And of course, there are some very iconic artists, uh, particularly from the early days. Not to say current artists are not also iconic, uh, I'm just not familiar with them. But let's just open this up and take a look. Okay. Two very epic cards. This is the one uh, I'm most excited about. But uh, this is pretty cool too, so why don't we start here. Birds of Paradise. It's a 0-1 flyer for one, and it taps for mana. Uh, epic card back in the day. Um, seems pretty epic to me now too, but uh, you know, I... I don't know. I don't play. Who knows what everything does these days. But uh, fairly nice condition. So the main downgrade here is the edges. Surface is nice. Corners centering. Yeah, that centering is pretty good. Birds can be really off center sometimes. So let's see what's up with the corners. Oh, edges it was. It's got to be that, right? All right, so so that's why the downgrade. We got a little bit of a chip there. Otherwise, what a beautiful, beautiful card. Awesome artwork. Absolutely love this. Um, doesn't happen to be the one I wanted to look at today, but a uh, fantastic card. So, pumped to add this to the collection. Alpha Birds. But this guy... Chaos Orb. This is one of the coolest cards in the game, um, in my opinion. The artwork is incredibly iconic. It's got that alpha artifact coloring. And then uh, this is one of the early cards. There were just a couple of them. There was this one. There was Falling Star. Not sure what else offhand. But this card actually required some physicality. So if you don't know, you can read here. But uh, basically, you hold this card up above the playing area and drop it. Uh, and it has to spin around, and then anything it touches when it lands is dead, uh, which is pretty cool. The, uh, there were two consequences of that, I would say. One of them, uh, the reason that this card and the other physical cards like this are banned, is because it led to unpleasant gameplay. Um, if you know you might be up against a Chaos Orb, well, you're going to have to spread all your stuff way the hell out, and it's going to take up all this space for no reason. Uh, it doesn't really make the game more enjoyable. So um, it was uh, banned. And then the second consequence is that everyone who had one of these, uh, because it's super powerful and super playable, um, and because he had to drop it, everyone, everyone who had one of these um, did drop it onto play areas, and corners and edges got banged up. So nice copies are just difficult to come by. And um, this one is uh, pretty nice, except for the corners. And I agree. I can see the corners have a little bit of impact damage, but not much. This is a nice eight, I would say. Pretty well centered. Beautiful card. 
This is only my second copy of the Alpha. This card is uh, just hard to find and it can be very expensive and I do prefer nice cards, nice condition cards. You know, uh, some have gone by that have been, you know, not quite as clean condition and I just tend to pass on those because it's not my cup of tea. Um, but then what I'm left with is, uh, you know, super expensive cards and cards like this and birds. It really has to be the right circumstances for me to get a hold of one of them. Uh, and I'm pumped when I can do that. Another reason I love this card is the artwork. Uh, Mark, I don't know if it's Teden or Tedden, someone who's met him can tell me so I can finally get that right. But uh, I just love his style. I love what he does. So I have a couple of these that I've put together. Um, and it's basically just a collection of artwork for particular artists that I really like from particular periods of magic. So I, uh, I've put together a little collection of artwork for each particular artist, particularly the, the older vintage stuff. Um, and I just wanted to look at it because Tiden is just one of my favorites. He's on so many iconic, iconic pieces. Lord of the Pit, of course. The Tome. Mana Vault. He is just awesome at this like sinewy, you know, detailed stuff. The teeth and layers and veins. Absolutely love it. In here, I've got one of all of his, uh, all of his sort of old frame stuff, except for, except for this. I only have one copy of this guy, and it's slabbed, so I'm not going to break it out. But um, Juzam is even teeden. Yeah, look at that detail. Time Vault is um, one of my very favorite cards. I would say top five. And again, just look at the use of the color. Look at the texture, all the sinew and bone. It's just awesome stuff. A winter orb, of course. Ashnod's one of the reasons that um, I targeted that guy for that buyout back in the day. So much of uh, my early magic experience is Mark's artwork. I love this card. I love the way you can sort of see incandescent veins underneath the skin. It's fantastic stuff. That's, of course, Cocoon. This one is one of those cards that used to creep me out. I don't know why, but it looks like they're inside, I don't know, like a mouth or something or a stomach. I don't know. This guy. Leviathan, absolute classic card. You can just spot his style. But uh, yeah, I just, I love doing this. I'll just flip through it. It's so cool to see an entire portfolio together. Mine Ravel is another awesome one. Look at this. Look at the way he's literally wound up like a brain. Man, the art was so disturbing back then. <laughs> Again, with the sort of brain texture. Whew. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? But I would say probably my two favorites have got to be Time Vault um, and Chaos Orb. So I don't have a copy of Chaos Orb in here. I do have, I have an unlimited one somewhere or two, but pumped to get this. I've done this for a couple of artists. Uh, Drew Tucker is another favorite of mine. I've mentioned him a few times, his art style. It's very, um, it's very much a less is more. For example, uh, let's see. Ooh, Exorcist is one of my favorites. 
But for instance, um, what am I thinking of? Power Leak Classic. A bunch of these Merc Dwellers. What they sort of lack in precision, they make up for in just haunting atmosphere. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, then I sound like a nut. Um, cave People is another example, and Goblin Caves. I mean, if you look closely at, you know, what these goblins actually are, there's sort of just smudges, but... Oh, this guy for sure. It leaves... I don't know, it, it leaves enough... It leaves more open to the imagination. And sometimes... Um, that uh, that's more than enough. Of course, Drew also did one of those special uh, Richard Garfield cards. I don't remember if it's Splendid Genesis or the Fraternal one. I'm not sure, but uh, doesn't seem very likely I'll get a hold of that one. That's like a sixty thousand dollar card. So, and then um, Richard Kane Ferguson's another another one of my favorites. I love his style. I love his use of color. You know, I'm not an artist, so I don't really know the terms. You know, I don't know if this is a particular style, but I just love the way he mixes uh, the layers and the colors. He's very good with that. And it creates some really haunting cards. Another one that stuck with me. A bunch of these. He's, he's really good with a sort of high contrast, too, I've noticed. Like, you know, I'll have really bright spots of one color mixed. You know, here he does it again. Here again. Just awesome use of color. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I feel like they don't make them like this anymore. Although he's got some new ones. Yeah, he did, he did these I made sure to get a hold of. Totally recognizable in his style. Despite the foiling. So, anyway... Yeah, look at that. Short video, right? Beautiful Chaos Orb. And uh, some of the cool classic art. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching today's video. If you're enjoying my content, you can help me grow the channel by printing out a bumper sticker with my name on it and sticking it to a stranger's car. See you next time.